you have been through and all that you have done, all that you have become, the Aetiran lies in front of you. Divinity is yours to take or to sacrifice. What you do next decides your own fate and the future of the world. What shall you do with divinity? So it ended. A tale that began with my own ill-fated attempt to rid the world of the god -woken. A new divine rose, a true heir to the Seven, more powerful than ever, and united Rivalon in its battle against the Void. All across the realm, he was loved, worshipped, and adored. Humans, lizards, elves, and dwarves all rallied to his banner. The Great Allegiance stood once more, but the war continued. From the depths of the void, the God King still sought to return. As for me, I was freed of the God King's terrible tyranny. I avoided an eternity of pain and suffering. Now I fight for the other side. Now, I fight for the Divine. Malady stands tall and proud, sunlight sparkling off her mask. Well, here we are again. Let an eye fool, your holiness. She turns to you, arms crossed, and gr Look at you. Magnificent. The same way I do everything, of course. Demonic. She fingers the mask, covering- We've come a long way together. Soon, I'd like to have a little chat about something you can do for me. But... Relax. Enjoy. I certainly plan to do the same. Oh, I don't know. Around and about. And when the time comes, your holiness. Well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. A god, no less. He smiles at you fondly. You've done us proud. You saved the world, didn't you? No. We were all of us instrumental, but only one walked away with divinity. I'm glad it was you. Home, if you don't mind. After all, I've dragons to raise. There may be an act. I do so long to see my palace. To sit all day in perfumed shade and watch the white of the marble change with the journey of the sun. But above all, I long to be with Sadha. Oh, uh, but before... Remember how when we first met, I took you by the jaw to inspect your teeth? Not something one forgets. Now, if you recall, as per your own testimony, you've no culinary skills, you lack a sense of fashion, and you've little or no regard for person... Still, I'm nothing, if not a tolerant man, who believe... What say you? You're very welcome to my house indeed. My boots are not going to clean. brushes detritus from his beard, sand, skin, and whatever else might have accumulated there. I know it's the same old sea breeze I've always smelled, but it's, it's different now. I don't know how to explain. Uh, I don't 
know how you can be so... What's the word? No. Peace begins to chuckle. <laughs> ah, that might be the most dramatic thing I've said in... Eight. The laugh fades away. And... <laughs> That's what I should be asking. I'll find ways to excite myself. Something tells me it's all... He winks. Here, here, the cupboard. He pauses. crosses the spirit's face. Whether her smile is sincere or not, you can't be sure. I see great potential in our new divinity. I don't expect... Oh my, you! Look who it is! She curtsies low and looks up at you with a grin. So, what's your first order of business? End world hunger? Instigate world peace? Send all spiders back to hell where they belong? I don't know if anyone's free of anything, but I'm bloody thrilled to be here now. Just me, myself, and you, of course. I hope protecting the realm suits you too. As for me, the poor lowly mortal, I've got business of my own to attend to. Get loot, play loot, get loot, get glad. So Chief, I guess this is it, right? Her face soft. You know, I won't forget you either. You'll ace it. I'm sure. As she turns from you, the whites of her eyes darken. The veins in her face go grey, and a wicked smile curls her mouth. Suddenly, it's gone again. See you around. Ifan gives you an appraising glance. Curiosity mingled with an emotion you can't quite put your finger on. Reflected in the mirror of his eyes, you see yourself majestic, powerful, emanating an aura of purest source. If So, you're it. Our new divine. I truly hope you'll do better than Lucian. Be better. You'll need to do even better than that, but if anyone can, if I can give one last piece of advice, remember that you serve the people, not the other way around. I need to fix what my actions destroyed. I'm going to return to the forests where I grew up, where the death fog maybe will see each other again sometime. He pauses, as if a... is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. Hmm. His eyes stay fixed on the book as you approach. Fane looks up, his gaze carefully drinking you in. Fascinating. The power of my people. The power of the veiled. All in one delicate mortal shell. Who could have imagined? The powers of the universe rushing through your body and you feel strained. The skeleton looks back to the book. I can't help thinking that I could have saved them. I could have done more. Had they decided to live in peace with the mortals of Rivalon, maybe we could have... But they made their choices. And I made mine. You could have saved them. Don't misunderstand. That doesn't mean they deserve that much. The skeleton hefts Hubert's dog in inside. I've been rereading this book. It's shit. Fane tosses the book over his shoulder. If you have spent your life staring at a thing, you can write about it with knowledge. You creatures have spent your lives trudging about this world, and you've grown blind to its miracles. Simply that to see the true beauty of a thing, sometimes you have to look at it as an outsider. Take otters, for example, or octopuses. Octopuses? Regardless, 
The world is filled with absolutely incredible sights. And who better to catalogue them with the awe they deserve than someone seeing them for the first time? Do you know, there is the idea that nothing is ever truly created. I suppose we are all sourced, but my people were sourced too. In a way, I was walking alongside the best version of them the entire In you, I found a home better than the one I was pining for. It gives me almost as much pleasure to speak to you as it does to be whole again. I will always be an ally to those that carry swords, to those whose blood is of the heroes of all. I am at the ready. You look out to the endless beyond, and with a start, you realize where you must go next. You speak the com War raged on. The ancient empire of lizards became one of the pillars of the new divine alliance. The houses of war and of shadows were particularly useful in the fight against the god king. The empire used the war to expand its territory. Justinia returned to her throne. Under her rule, the dwarven kingdom fought for the divine, and her loyalty was unquestionable. Many fine and courageous dwarves did their people great honor in battle and in death. With Lucian gone, the elves reluctantly rejoined the Divine Alliance. Their place in the War on the Void would entirely depend on the integrity of the new Divine. And here and there, across the world, what was left of the Black Ring fought on. The island of Fort Joy remained a sorcerer's paradise, a place of exile for those whose sorcery threatened to bring in the void. For their well-being, its residents depended entirely on the benevolence of the new divine. Reaper's coast struggled on. The farms and the fisheries fought to feed the people against the void-woken blight. The black pits took fire. The oil there burns still. Driftwood teetered on the edge of starvation until the night the void-woken came from the sea. All were killed. This did, however, put an end to the famine. The Nameless Isle had vanished. Although only open water remained, by instinct ships would steer clear. None of the captains could articulate why. Sir Gareth thanked the surviving seekers for their service and gave them their freedom. Disillusioned with ongoing war, he set out alone to find a new purpose. He would never stop seeking. Young Han grew up a warrior and became one of the Alliance's greatest generals. But even he could not win the war. With a new divine at the helm, Malady had a powerful ally. But she was in no hurry to call in her favor. After all, it might be the last thing she ever did. Having performed the greatest act of necromancy in history, Tarquin found the new world unchallenging. He became obsessed with rumors of another plane of existence. One day he vanished and was never seen again. Ahu the wizard served the new divine with honor, wisdom, and an at times unnerving feline elegance. The undead priestess Gratiana remained in her sanctuary, happy to wait for the war to pass. She was troubled only by the silence of her goddess. 
Jehan the demon hunter never stopped hunting for demons. Sahela sought to strengthen the Elven Alliance with the new divine. Her powers of sight proved useful in the ongoing war against the Void, but she could never be sure that the new divine trusted her. Tova, her mother, was Sahela's most trusted warrior. The Beast of the Sea returned to the Dwarven Kingdom to lead the Dwarves in the fight against the Void. After a series of public blunders, Marcus eschewed political power and returned to the sea. The Beast and the Lady Vengeance sail on. Fane travelled Rivalon, notebook in hand, recording the wonders he discovered. He kept a socket peeled for signs of the Eternals, hoping to find the wife he had lost. He's still looking. With a small band of elves, Ifan Ben Medzd replanted the lost forests. After the first fresh shoots broke the earth, Ifan returned to the war, leading the elves in service of the divine. Some say Afrit, his soul wolf, walks the forest still. On his return to the Empire, the Red Prince was hailed a hero. He married Sada, and they had many more dragons. Soon, the Prince became the Emperor. Faced with dragons, the Void did not gain the upper hand in the Empire. Losa returned to her music and enjoyed a storied career as the Divine's premier musician. Dark moods would still overtake her and she would spend long hours walking in the wilds. She always returned with a new song. And then there was you. For how much of this do you take credit or blame? And what kind of divine were you as the world battled on? Did you show mercy or strength? Did you sacrifice others as Lucian had done? Did you regret becoming divine? Should you have given your soul and sealed the veil? Only you know the truth, you and one other. For the God King still calls your name. Do you answer? Only you know if you atone for your sins. 